have one somewhere of you and Governor Edwards. It's in there on the wall, isn't it? I'll just go see. Yeah. yeah I'll go in the well, and find it. I can come in there and get it, I guess. But it's not me. That's the same one they own this. This one is larger. That's right. That's when she was hold, hold it up to the camera and that's when you get that. Okay. And that's Governor Edwards and, yeah. mm -hmm. and Josephine. All right. I'll put it right here. But this is the picture that's in the state hall. That's right. Right. And that was at a different ceremony. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's the, this one. Okay. All right. And this is going to the state house. seen the picture in the state house, so he wanted uh, me to get that, you know, stay inside of that picture, so that the little picture is the one on the wall, and the blue one is me. always interested in her relatives and family and in 1960, no, when she was 65 years old, she took in her seven great nieces and nephews and raised them to adulthood, right? Practically. Practically. And now um, some of them have children and um, so she has had a house full of children since I can remember. <laughs> And these, are these some of the children? No. Well, they, these are some of the grand. The grand. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the oldest girl's child. And that's uh, the youngest. This one? Yeah, I think that's the youngest. Okay. And these are two of the... Yeah, that's what the oldest. That girl there is the oldest of the children that, of the six of the that seven raised. children. Right. Okay. That I raised. Yeah. She lives in that trailer right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the road. Okay. And that, this that's one? a one of the she's a daughter of one of the of the okay. second girl that I raised. All right. And then later on, after these children were up some size, I believe it was your husband's sister that came to live with you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he had passed. Yeah. And then 1977, the 5th of January, she came to live with me and lived with me until... 1987. When she died? When she, well... Didn't she die then? Why did they? 
I mashed my foot in the car door. Oh. And I couldn't. Oh, yeah. It was too much for me. And she stayed with her niece 15 months after, you know, that I didn't like the, about 30, about 27 days, being 11 years that she stayed with me. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she and she was somebody that had to be waited on a good bit of the oh, time. Yes, she, she yeah. was 94 years old. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had spent 15 years in the state institution. Mm -hmm. And uh, the. Uh, started writing and trying to find out said she was eligible to come home if somebody would just, you know, kind of supervise her. And that's, that's when it fell on Fell me. on you. Mm -hmm. so she had a sister then that was a public health nurse in Jacksonville, Florida. But she said that uh, I uh, sent them her address. She just told them no, she wouldn't take them. Mm -hmm. But she told me that she and Annie never did get along very well, so she couldn't be bothered with her at her age. And now, uh, then I decided I uh, would uh, do what I could. I said, well, you can always carry her back. But as long as you can keep them, they, you know, it was, mm -hmm. because, well, there would be somebody that was in worse shape that Annie was taking their place, so I brought her home. And, uh, and there she stayed the rest of her there life. There she stayed the rest of her life. I, uh, when uh, she was the Yvonne's. Every month until the very last, I would see her. And uh, if there was anything she needed, you were on was her uh, great niece. But she was very nice. Are you still able to go to church? Me? Went last <laughs> How long have you belonged to Salem? Oh, I belonged, I came to Salem in 56. How long was that? active all the time in church. All the time. Teaching Sunday school and so forth? Yeah. And uh, they, uh, but I had a time getting somebody to take my place on the choir. Because after I'd had this heart attack, my breath would get short. And, you know, couldn't sing. That's right. I couldn't sing. I said, well, you can get somebody else. Oh, you, you can stay out there. I said, yes, and I can get out, too, and I'm going to get that. Oh. So I've been off the fire since I had this, this heart attack. And the heart attack and the stroke was one year and one day apart. One year and one day. And now, uh, each time I went to the hospital on Saturday morning, and uh, I stayed a week. Come home the next Saturday, 
Sunday morning, somebody fixed my breakfast. Monday morning, I fixed it from then till I... <laughs> the morning I had the stroke, which was a year and one day. And uh, the same thing happened. I stayed in the hospital a week. Saturday, come back on Saturday. Sunday morning, somebody would fix my breakfast. Monday morning, I fixed it. They fixed it ever, ever since. since. And you told me the other day you were 93 years old? Huh? You told me the other day you were 93? I will be. Will be. Will be 93, the 3rd of October. October. Yes, uh, the 3rd of October, I will be 93 years old. Uh, let's back up a little. How long did it take you to get your high school diploma? You went to night school, to adult night school? <coughs> yes, they had an adult school out here. And uh, they had to have 14 numbers to hold the school. And they had 13. Well, they kept asking, I says, uh, my husband had passed. I says, well, as often as I can, I will attend the classes. I said, but you know what I do. And uh, I will uh, attend the class. So I joined the class. And uh, went one season, And the next, I got my high school diploma. Oh. And you were seven, seven four, four years, four years old. old at that time. And uh, I worked, I was 83 when I had the heart attack. And I was working for Green Film. At that time. Yeah, I saw that paper. What is Green Thumb? Well, uh, that's a, a organization that's affiliated with the uh, retirement. Oh. And uh, now what I was doing was delivering, I delivered 15 million a day. Oh, oh, okay, all right. I remember when you did that. Yeah. And uh, I uh, delivered these uh, patients on Friday, and Saturday morning I had this heart attack. And uh, that was a retirement, you know, for Okay, yeah, that's a certificate. For mm -hmm. excellent, excellent performance of duties on the Green Thumb program. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when did you stop driving? Driving? No. You just quit driving not long ago. Oh, about a year. Yeah, that's what I thought. About a year.